So here is my state bicycle. Uh, state undefeated too. And it's the uh, black and white. The other color that they had was a teal. Um, this one was size, I think, 52. <clears throat> anyway, I, uh, I'll go through the specs and then I did, I did an upgrade, some upgrades as well. Uh, <clears throat> so the, the frame, the main frame is alloy 7005. Um, that's higher than the 6000 series. The fork is a full carbon fork. Um, so the original wheel set, I put it on my other bike. And then I put an uh, aero spoke wheel set on there, uh, bolt on track wheel. Um, it does not have a lot of clearance. So in the front is 25 millimeters maximum. Uh, I put a Hutchinson, this uh, old tire, the Hutchinson Equinox in 23 millimeters. And what I did upgrade was to the Shimano Altegra uh, brake set. I don't, I didn't like the other uh, brake set. Um, it's too like, I guess too cheap. It's kind of non-branded like uh, Traco brake. So I, so I did upgrade right away to the Altegra, and it feels much better, better braking. So I did put um the um handlebar is trans X uh I think forty millimeters or forty centimeters, four hundred millimeter uh width. And then I put a instead of the Richie stem, uh, I put a a 70 millimeter um, stem from Nash Bar. The cap piece is FSA. <clears throat> the headset is integrated, so this piece is the same. And then the piece on the bottom is integrated in the fork. So that's cool. Um, I did put my own bar tape. This one's a bit softer, and then I put a Nash Bar time trial, time trial uh, brake. So I just have one brake in the front. <coughs> um, I put my Nash Bar frame pack. Um, so I put this, uh, and I put all my stuff in there, inner tube. Um, um, to take off the, I have a special tools to take off the front and rear wheels, and then my multi-tool and tire levers. Uh, what this bike doesn't have is the uh, bottle cage bosses, so you can't put nothing on the frame. You would have to <coughs> attach it to the. If you want a bottle case, you can attach it to the seat post rails, to the rails. Uh, I did put my light, I don't have it on. Um, it's charging right now. So the seat post is a, a carbon seat post that I upgraded to. This has the uh, seat post. So you use the multi-tool to take it off. Um, the saddle is the original saddle it came with. I forgot what it's called. Um, and then the uh, the crank says Shram Automus. Uh, 48 tooth chain ring. 
I did put the um, diamond back pedals with straps and toe clips. Those are really good. <clears throat> I put um, so this is a rear arrow spoke. I put a 28 tire. It does fit. 28 tires do fit. Um, and that's the maximum that it can fit. On, the, on this side it's 17 tooth. On this side it's 18. So right now I have I have a <clears throat> I have a 48 18 48 18 uh, uh, gear ratio this is also going to be the review uh, I didn't say it in the beginning but yeah um, so the chain ring is 144 can't really see so it's 144 and then uh and then the rear is uh uh by one and one eighth so the the back tire is the nash the Hutchinson the Hutchinson Nitro two it's pretty cool um i I think I ran through everything as well. What I have right here is the my water bottle cage attached to the seat post, uh, the saddle rail. Or, yeah. So I think I went through everything as well. Um, so the ride quality is pretty good. Um, it's better for smooth roads it's not that great for uh, like rough terrain like if the streets are has cracks and uneven surfaces it's better for a smooth smooth roads to me at least and um, I read in it for about a month and that would be maybe 150 miles. Yeah, something like 150 miles. Not that much because I have a few other bikes as well. Um, but yeah, like it's a great bike to have. Um, and uh And uh, I'll see if I can do a, a ride review later on and more, more miles. I do need to take it, you know, further and see if I can uh, take it on, on a long ride. And uh, I'll try to use my GoPro, um, my GoPro Hero. Uh, and yeah anyway that's gonna be my bike and uh hope you enjoy this video it's the state bicycle undefeated too thanks